All right, now if you're watching this video before the launch or after the launch of the Galaxy Watch 6 series, the opinions and suggestions still holds good and this may help you make a buying decision. In this video, we are gonna quickly compare the Watch 6 Classic with the previous gen Watch 5 Pro and the Watch 5 Regular and I'll help you decide on which one should you be buying. I'm not comparing the Watch 6 Regulars as they are gonna be a minor upgrade from the Watch 5 Regular. So let's skip that and let's dive into this video. The first thing we are going to talk about is the design of these smartwatches. And based on the leaks, many of us are excited to see Samsung bringing back the rotating bezel which was on the Watch 4 Classic and a few older gen Galaxy watches as well. And this rotating bezel is not just functional, it makes the watch look beautiful and sporty as well. And this design goes well with your formal or casual attire. But when it comes to the Watch 5 Pro, the design is subtle and understated. It looks sportier and heavier when compared to the classics as well as the regular Watch 4 series. Now the Watch 5 Regular. This watch looks cool and sporty and goes well with smart casuals and casuals but for a formal wear, it may not be the best fit in my opinion, but it's still fine. It's subtle, flat and looks neat. In this area, I would pick the Watch 6 Classic, which is a killer when it comes to the design, if we get the rotating bezel. Next important area, which we are going to compare is the display size and the battery size. First, let's talk about the Watch 5 Pro. The Watch 5 Pro is offered in 45mm size and has a huge 590mh battery with 10 watt wireless charging. And this can last three to four days without any issues. And that is great for a watch running on Wear OS. Now, when it comes to Watch 5 Regular, this is being offered in 40mm and 44mm size, offering 284mh and 410mh battery respectively. And these watches can offer one to two days of maximum battery life with restricted usage, which is not great. Now, coming to the Watch 6 Classic, this is expected to come in 43 and 47mm sizes, which is going to be the largest dials being offered so far by Samsung and expected to come with thinner bezels so this may pack bigger batteries compared to the watch 5 regular and could be equivalent battery size when compared to the watch 5 pro or maybe slightly better so again in this area i would pick the watch 6 classic due to the bigger display size and bigger battery i'm expecting the watch to last at least three to four days easily or maybe more so yes the watch 6 classic is the winner and this is the best option when it comes to the display size and the battery performance now now let's talk about the performance of these watches. This is something which is not going to matter much as all of these watches are going to come with a minimum of 1.5 GB RAM and 16 GB storage which is good enough for day to day activities. The processors on the previous gen rocks Exynos W920 and the latest one may come with Exynos W930 which may not make much of a difference for a normal user when it comes to smart watches. However, the latest processor may improve the battery performance. But we'll have to test the watch and see that. But as far as the performance is concerned for a normal user, it won't make much of a difference when it comes to smart watches. So you don't have to be worried about this aspect. All these watches are going to run pretty smoothly. Even the hardware, smart features, health-centric features such as activity tracking, BMI measurement, HR measurements, ECG and BP readings, etc. are going to be available on all these watches in some of the regions. However, Samsung may offer one or two additional features on the latest 6 Classic which may not even come to the 5 series. For example, Samsung may add skin temperature measurement or any other feature which will be exclusive to the Watch 6 series and this is something which depends on your requirement. Latest is the best, so again here the Watch 6 Classic is something which I would suggest. At the end, it all boils down to the price. The latest Watch 6 Classic 47mm is expected to cost close to 500 US dollars and the 43mm may cost 450 US dollars whereas the previous gen watches are definitely going to cost much lesser. So now you need to understand what are you going to compromise or lose if you buy a previous gen watch instead of the latest Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I would rule out the Watch 5 due to the design and battery performance when compared to the Watch 6 or the Watch 5 Classic because the design and battery are two important aspects which have to be considered given the rest of the smart features and health centric features are almost the same among these watches. Now between the Watch 5 Pro and the Watch 6 Classic, I would pick the Classic even if there is a price difference, mainly because of the design with the classic rotating bezel, slightly bigger screen with a better screen to body ratio and similar or maybe better battery life. And yeah, maybe it'll also have one or two new additional features and hardware improvements. So Watch 6 Classic should be the pick 
even if there is a price difference between the Watch 5 Pro and Watch 6 Classic. That is my opinion. Now you share your thoughts and let me know which one would you prefer to buy. Hope this video was useful in making a buying decision. In the upcoming video, I will discuss about whether you should buy a Bluetooth variant or the LTE variant of any of these smartwatches. Stay tuned for that video and be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.